Hi everyone, I think, I hope you all can hear me. Uh, I just want to come on and um, just share some things that the, the Lord had been dealing with me about. I hope you guys can hear me. And um, the Lord was dealing with me one morning, which was yesterday, Friday, today is Saturday. Um, this is May the 14th, so this was the 13th on um, Friday. And, um, he woke me up in the morning, and it was 444 when I watched and looked at the, uh, phone, the clock on the phone, it was 444. And I know it was a reason for him waking me up like that, um, because I vaguely remembered what it meant about miracles and all that. And, um... Always knowing that we would go and research, of course, and that's what I did. I researched in the scriptures. Um, well, I researched scripturally, and I did it online. And um, what came up was Matthew 4 and 4. And it, and it speaks like... Um, Man shall not live by bread of bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And so, um, this scripture was actually online on someone else's, uh, I guess, ministry uh, page online, and that's where I was actually led to. Um, and it has some great significance of whatever I've been seeing, things that I've been seeing, things that I've been uh, encouraging other people about. And I, I knew it was a message for me because these are the things that were happening. And um, I'm reading and it says, um, the spies are being rooted out of your land. And it reads, it says, I saw all the hidden areas being exposed. The areas where the enemy has hidden, where he has found a home in lies or fear or strongholds. The Lord is shining his light on them and he is rooting them out. The hidden areas that have allowed the enemy to torment and to cause anguish and grief upon God's people. These spies are being rooted out. The spies that have continued to remain hidden, those spies that have continued to hinder breakthrough, freedom, and fruitfulness, those spies that have continued to empower cycles of death and destruction, those spies that have continued to empower cycles of delay and pain, God is rooting out the spies. The very areas where the enemy thought he had the greatest hidden ground in the lives of believers, some of these hidden areas have been there for generations. He is being exposed by the Lord and rooted out by the truth. The enemy is being driven out of your heart and soul and the land God has given you. So, uh, I want to stop for a second, and there was a um, person that called me on the phone um, that morning, and um, they were kind of pretty distraught, and um, they were in a hospital, and I kind of felt that that's where they were before they even called, and, um, but I just... I didn't, um, I didn't move on it, but they were talking to me, and they were letting me know, um, how they felt, you know, and the pain that they were feeling, uh, physically as well as mentally, um, how someone had, this individual had done them wrong, and put them out, said they didn't want them to be there anymore, and, um, how they were saying, um, that um, it's like I lost my thoughts. That was like how they 
how uh, they didn't need them anymore, and they just wanted them to leave. Said, I got what I want now, and, you know, you can go now. You don't, you don't have to stay here. I don't want you here anymore because I got what I want from you, which was so sad. But um, that's the wickedness of the enemy that uses people. So I began to, God allowed me be, to begin to encourage this person. And things were just coming out. It was just flowing. And I know it was through the Holy Spirit that, you know, how she was speaking uh, to me, uh, through me, to this individual. And um, I was just letting them know that, um, you know, the seasons are changing, and God is backing his people up. He's avenging them now, um, you know, with all the wickedness and whatnot in the world now. And things are changing, and he's separating people from people where certain individuals can't go with the, uh, the other individual, and how he's just, um, he's just pulling things apart and pulling people apart. And a lot of times, uh, no one understands it, but it's uh, most of the time for our own good. So, and I told him, I said, I told the individual, I said, it's the purpose and the reason for it. I said, and God has you right position where he wants you to be. So, um, you know, and I was saying about, the, you know, the uprooting and, and, you know, whatnot, you know, that's, that's going on and how they're going to be, they're going to be paid back. You know, it's the time now. How the wicked are, you know, the time is up. And so, um, a lot of it's a part of warfare, you know, witchcraft, all of that ties in together with what is going on, you know, strongholds and whatnot. And, um, yeah, and I, I you know, I prayed uh, for the individual as well. And um, I decreed some things over them, and you know, and I rebuked, and you know, and I pleaded the blood over this individual, you know. And so, um, getting back here, I mean, by with through all out all of that, though, I should say, um, like I said, it, there was a great significance in. Um, the 444. Now, um, because it was talking about the spies and all those different things like that. And, um, I'm, I'm going to read again, but I'm going to, um, come back with you on that one. It says here, there is some. Okay, wait a minute. I might have, um, missed it. Just the reading. Just a moment. Okay. Um, okay, let me go back because I'm not even sure where I left off in reading here. Yeah. The hidden areas that have allowed the enemy to torment and to cause anguish and grief upon God's people. These spies are being rooted out. The spies that have continued to remain hidden, those spies that have continued to hinder breakthrough freedom and fruitfulness, those spies that have continued to empower cycles of death and destruction, those spies that have continued to empower cycles of delay, pain, God is rooting out the spy. The very areas where the enemy thought he had the greatest hidden ground in the lives of believers, some of these hidden areas have been there for generations. He is being exposed by the Lord and rooted out by the truth. The enemy is being driven out of your heart and soul in the land God has given you. Okay, then it says, There is some fool on warfare taking place, and the Lord is doing some deep working of healing and deliverance in his people. It is imperative right now that God's people are rehearsing the Rema. And, um... That's what I was letting this individual know too. By them laying on their bed, their sick bed like that, God is definitely going to, to deliver, because it was a spoken word before. And um, we, we are believers, 
and we are to believe in his word and his spoken words. He said his word does not go to go back to him void. He's not a God that he shall lie, and neither a God that he shall repent. And so his word is not going to go back to uh, him void. That that he said, that shall it be. And so, um, the 444 door, 444, I'm sorry, um, meaning to it is open door, creative miracles, creative opportunities, opening invitation to encounter fresh intimacy with God, come up higher, fresh perspective, and increase a vision breakthrough season of victory. Now, I know the Lord has been dealing with me about that, about, um, you know, coming up higher, doing some things that I know I'm supposed to be doing and I haven't been doing, um, and I know I should be. And, um, of course, this is a, a second start right here. Um, God is a God of second chances, and I thank God for God giving us second chances. Um, He's very a very patient God, and I really appreciate him for being patient, and I also always um, ask him for forgiveness. I said, you know, for being slowful and then, you know, procrastinating, uh, you know, and different things on him. Because um, it's never, never good because it runs into other things that should never be. Uh, rebellion and all that is... is, is, is it's just like as a sin of witchcraft and all of that. And I don't want to be a part of any of that. And um, so it's saying right now in this incredibly intense moment in the body of Christ uh, where the enemy is screaming and manifesting uh, because he's losing ground. And the Lord is doing some deep deliverance and healing in his people. And we must be taking the manner. The revelation that God has given to us every day, uh, where He is speaking and feast upon it, and it is it is crucial that God's people are meditating upon the realm of word of God right now and feast on what He is saying through His word, through prophetic words, through dreams, uh, etc. As you rehearse in this season, lies, strongholds, hidden places, and areas where the enemy has occupied territory in your life is being overturned. And the things that have held you back in this season and through the generations and for your entire life are being broken off right now in this season in Jesus' name. God is changing history in lives right now and what has been a certain way in a negative sense for generations. He is breaking, healing, and changing right now in this season. And, it's, and what was will no longer be. You will be free, and this is this is um, some of the things I was telling this individual as well about you know um, he, that, that they were free, literally they, they were free because God was breaking off things that uh, wasn't supposed to be anymore, and you know attached to them. He was actually open and literally opening this individual's eyes um, because uh, he definitely wanted them to see uh, what was being. Um, said what was what was being done around them what the true colors of that individual really was was coming out that what had been hidden for so long so this really ties into all the hidden things you know of the enemy and, and you know of sin and wickedness and it says you were somersault into victory God is extending you and extending your land. He's not only giving you back the land that the enemy has occupied and stolen, but he is giving you back that land and more. Increase. And there's another scripture of Psalms 44 and 4. And it says, You are my king and my God who decrees victories for Jacob. So no matter what you're walking in through right now, God is decreeing victory over you. That's another thing I was letting the individual know. That's why I said God is so good. He speaks. He speaks if we pay attention. This is your season of victory and deliverance. Jesus said to those who believed in him, when you continue to embrace all that I teach you, you prove that you are my true followers. 
But if you embrace the truth, it will release more freedom into your lives. And that's John 8, 31-32. The Lord is decreeing over the season. The truth will be told in the sense surrounding me that the truth of his word and the truth of the revelation of who Jesus is, is his goodness and kindness is going to bring more and more freedom to God's people, a greater wholeness of heart and soul, and the deliverance and rooting out of the enemy. The pain may be intense now, the struggle may be deep, the opposition and the heart surgery all happening at once, but I want to encourage you, you are going, to, going higher, and you are extending, you are increasing, you are being made whole, strong, and free to move forward into your land of greater victory. The season hasn't changed, and then it has changed. The season of victory and breakthrough is here. And threshold we are crossing over is one of fire. But as we go through holding to Jesus, drawing closer to him, feasting on his word and rehearsing, we are walking through and rehearsing his word. We are walking through an open door into greater freedom, favor, promotion, increase, and fruitfulness. He is, he is decreeing the force over you right now. This is a season of incredible open doors, creative miracles, invitations into deeper encounters with Jesus, bringing to life new levels of intimacy with Him, an increase of sight, wisdom, discernment, and clarity. This is your season of victory, and you are moving into it. Don't stop now. The truth is being told to expose all the lies and assaults of the enemy in your life, heart, and soul. And you will move forward strong and free. So, um, although we have to be.